Forget Josie and the Pussycats, meet the Dolls. Rachel Estevez on vocals and guitar, Sabrina Borja on saxophone, Megan Volstead on trumpet, Susanna Wustig on bass guitar, and Regina Oliva, the tiniest of them all, rocking out on the drums. This is their typical Friday night, kicking at castaways in Tumon to a packed bar, performing top 40 favorites as well as dozens of their own originals. We're very underestimated and um, I feel, well maybe with our fellow musicians, uh, they know like where we are, our caliber, but uh, maybe for a general public they see like a group of girls and they're just like, oh that's cute, like, you know, and then we, you know, we rock out and we blow their socks off. These girls are all accomplished musicians and even prouder products of their respective band programs at the Department of Education. I think that um, like fine arts in general in the public school systems, they need more support. And yes, it's been improving in the last couple of years, but I think like even since when I was started in middle school, it was not in the great like position. And I was lucky enough to go to a public school that had a music program. Yeah, and instruments and someone who was competent at teaching. Not only are these fierce females taking center stage, they're taking over the classroom. Because where else would the dolls hang out? Playhouse Studios offers affordable private lessons so music lovers of all ages can increase their music literacy. Playhouse Studios was important because um, when I was young, I, I wanted to have music lessons, but they were really, really expensive. So I was like, I wanted to kind of create a music school that would be like what I wanted and it would be like easily affordable, easily accessible. Echoing her sentiments, soon to be band teacher Sabrina. I want them to be independent musicians, people who can read music, make music, have fun, you know, and then pass that joy on to others. I think it's the best uh, job in the world and I think there need to be more music teachers. And shout outs to all their music teachers, past and present. We're so interlocked with the music scene now, and I feel like all the people who have brought us up, like Max and like John Bermudez, what they taught us was right about you know being a musician in the scene. And I think like they really did a, a good job with trying to at least cultivate some some kind of like uh, kind of like planting the seeds, you know, and like watching the seeds and trying to like make sure you know they're going in the right direction. And no room for divas on this stage. These girls have nothing but love for their fellow performing artists. Even with us here at Castaway, sometimes we'll leave the bar and then we'll go hop on over to Porky's or um, you know check out the other bands play. I feel like it's it's kind of like our job too. I mean, and, it, and I'm proud to say that because I love doing it. Everyone like in this community, you know, we, we all know each other. We all usually support each other. But why should you support local artists like the Dolls? Can you imagine a world without music, movies without music, just dancing without music? It, 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 yeah. it, I think it ties into everything and so if we're, we have to support that as, as teachers, as parents.